Good morning, fellow Plexers. Today I want to help a member of the Plex Media Server Support Group on Facebook learn how to fix up a compilation album for a Plex Music Library so that it, it scans in as a various artist library with his own custom metadata if he wishes to proceed that way. So, unlike a TV show library or a movie library, a Plex music library does not depend on just structure for Plex to scan it in. What it really depends on is the metadata. So you can actually have your files named in different ways, and we're going to use these two um, compilation albums. We're going to adjust them um, to show you how we can scan them in differently as they scan into Plex now. So the key to doing this is being able to change the metadata. So here's my Plex Music Library to start with. And when we get done, you'll see these two albums scan in as the most recently added albums. And we're, out, we're also going to add custom artwork to both of them. So I picked two things that were similar. I have a 60s Summer Hits and I have a Summer Hits of the 60s, both separate albums and I went and created new artwork for each of them to substitute to show how it just all works perfectly by just adapting things a little bit. So let me just arrange things. We're going to use Music Brains Picard for these compilation albums and I'm just going to select both of them and drag them in. Now these albums were checked or fixed originally with Music Brains Picard. So let's make this full screen. And all you really have to know is just to hit the cluster button. And because these are already matched up with their metadata enough, they cluster together. So you really don't even care about the individual songs. You can just click on the group of songs. And over to the right, you'll see the, the actual poster that um, is assigned to these group of songs and if we look down below on the left is the original metadata and the right side is what we can change. I could change every title to be the same just by adjusting that field and hitting save. Well for a compilation CD you really want or a compilation album you really want four or five key pieces of metadata to match up. Each song can have its individual title and its individual artist, which is why it says it's different across 36 items. But the album needs to have its own um, name. Let me move this like this so I can see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this simply to Al's Summer 60 Hits and just let it be entered. And then you need the same date. This could be a full date like you see, or it could simply be the year. So let me change this to 2020 instead of 2022 with a month and a, a, a day on it. And then you really would want it to be listed as a various artist, album artist, if you wanted to scan in with other various artist albums. You don't have to, but that just makes it easier. So then it comes to this poster. And I'm reaching here. I don't know if I can do it as easy. So what is this? This is L Summer Hits. And I prep this new poster. I'm just going to drag that in. And I'm going to hit Save. Going to remove that, drag, oh, sorry. Drag this back in again, cluster again. Okay, so that didn't work for the album artwork, but if I right click on it and I choose replace front cover art, Maybe this will work this time. Okay, I had to choose that first. 
And now if I hit save, I've replaced all the cover art. So let's prove that by removing it and then dragging it back in. Clustering it again, clicking on it. So now you see the name change of the album stuck and the new artwork stuck. So if we do the same thing for this other album, this one I'll use my full first name. If I can type my own first name while I'm thinking about what to say next. And this time we'll change the year to 2018. And again, the album artist is various artists across all of these. So I'm going to right click, replace front cover arts already selected. So now I can drag this other artwork in and hit save. And now if I get rid of both of these and drag both in again, I can just hit cluster and when I click into everything you'll see the changes. Now if this was a regular album or CD you would cluster it and then you would hit scan and then Music Brains Picard would would look for a match in one of the online databases that it uses and if you get lucky it would pop up over here and you'd see a gold CD in front of it. If you were unlucky, you'd see a, a silver CD with maybe 18 or 22 songs listed, and then you might see other albums that one or two songs went to listed below, or maybe you might see a few album, or a few songs left over on the left. I have a fuller Music Brains Picard tutorial video to show how to do that. I just wanted to talk about creating a compil compilation album or like an old mixed album um, and if you took a whole bunch of songs that were together the first thing you'd have to do is you have to highlight all of them because you couldn't you couldn't um, use the cluster button and while they're all highlighted this is where you start changing things you would change the album name and the date and you could assign the poster to it um, and you don't really need much besides those those four key pieces of metadata. But Music Brains Picard will um, bring in perfect metadata. So if, if you don't have all these fields filled in, when you scan a regular album that's in the database, it'll just come in. Let's, let's just do this. You can search for album separately and my search opened up off screen and you also have to understand that there's different versions or release versions of, of one album it might be reissued years later um, the first issue may have a, a US a UK a European a Japanese version and you might have different tracks on those different versions so Music Brains Picard might not find the right match but if you manually, ser manually search for it it'll be even easier to get the complete metadata. But again, Plex doesn't need a lot of metadata to make a match to an online database. And if there is no online database match to be made, you just need the, the few key bits of information to be the same. Naturally, if it's a regular um, album, the title of the song needs to be correct for the song, the artist needs to be correct, and just don't forget about the album artist. So if this was, I don't know, if this was Led Zeppelin, the, the album artist would be Led Zeppelin and the artist would be Led Zeppelin. Um, date, poster, and that's enough. So these are, these are properly prepped now. So let's, let me copy them off screen. Cut and copy off screen into my music library and we'll rescan. Now I'm fooling around with a test Unraid server. Um, I'm using Unraid just to host Plex in a Docker container. It's on an Intel NUC 
and I'm pointing that back to my Synology NAS. So these two servers point to the same file locations. So if I scan, if I scan each of them, we'll see Plex go to work. The Unraid one will be a faster scan though. Alright, so the first one popped up. Let's go into it. And it's everything you would want. There's no online database to match to because it's a compilation album, but it's got everything we need. So it shows the original artist and it shows the original song title. And they're all grouped under the name I gave it. And they're um, going to be listed in the various artist, artist grouping. So if we back out, took a little bit longer, but it found the second one. Well, maybe it's not quite done finding it yet. Okay, so there it is. And again, we have the, the artist of each individual track along with the um, track title. And they're all grouped together under the same um, album name I gave it. And it, they've all got the poster that I've given it. And my Synology NAS won't scan quite as fast with its little Celeron processor, but again, both albums appear on that server too. So it's pretty easy as long as you use a tool like um, Music Brains Picard. You can use other tools. I just used the one because it worked right off the bat and it's pretty easy to retag 30 or 40 or 50 songs that you want to group together. Now, like I said, I have a previous video that goes, I don't know what I did it, six, eight months ago, that goes into a little bit more detail. If you want a compilation album that includes multiple CDs, there's a field that you can add um, where you can say these songs are CD 1 of 5. These other songs are CD 2 of 5. Um, so you can scan in a multi-CD um, compilation album too. You, you really can do anything you want once you adjust the metadata. If you don't fix the metadata, it doesn't matter how you organize the files, how you name them, how you name the folders, it just doesn't matter. A Plex Music Library depends on metadata. Thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful.